When you turn 16 in America, it's pretty normal for a person to get their first job and take their first step in becoming another cog in the system. And making money as a teenager can be, well, not that fun considering the jobs you qualify for, which, if you were curious as well, none. Or I guess maybe some, but personally, I wouldn't want to flip burgers at McDonald's. When I turned 16, I had my first job, which was actually mowing lawns, which I did for myself. I had no f***ing clue, idea what I was doing. Uh, but I tell you what, I was in good shape and I was making good money, decent money, for at least how young I was and how poor broke I was. And I tell you what, my job was a hell of a lot better than all my friends' jobs. At least that's how I felt. I could work when I wanted, I did what I wanted, it was nice. That first business was so fundamental for some of the business things I've learned in my experiences, my entrepreneurial journey. So I don't regret it one bit. So this video is for anybody that's uh, getting ready to get into the working system and doesn't think the traditional path is necessarily for you. Number one, flipping items on Facebook, Craigslist, and eBay. So many people list things on these platforms for way cheaper than they're actually worth, sometimes even for free. People could just not know the value or they could just need to get rid of it fast. Either way, Way for you, you could say one man's trash is another man's treasure. Some great items I see all the time for free are couches and dressers. Both could be picked up and then cleaned up and then flipped and you could make an infinite margin on that product. Minus of course maybe some gas and your time, which if you are young, you have a lot of. Number two, which is serving and bartending. I know this isn't really entrepreneurial, but let's think about it this way. Depending on the restaurant you work at, when you're serving or bartending, you typically have three to five tables. And at those three to five tables, you typically have two to six customers, of which it is your job to get the bill as high as possible with extra desserts, drinks, and etc. whatever that restaurant may have. This is a brilliant way as a young entrepreneur to develop some sales skills and customer relationship skills. Oh, and you will make way more money than any of your other friends working hourly jobs. Here's a bonus tip too, if you work in a restaurant or, or bartending serving, um, get a job at a high-end place like a country club or like a really nice fine dining restaurant because you never know who's going to walk through that door and you can make some really good big time connections. Number three is lawn care and snow removal because if you live in a place like this, you need it. This is a job that will always be needed by anyone who owns a house, and let's be honest, nothing quite fits the stereotype of a first-time business quite like mowing your neighbor's lawn. Tell people you are a young kid saving money up for the future, and people will salivate at the opportunity to make them feel like they are helping you change your life. This business will teach you great lessons in business management, sales, and will be really good shape. <laughs> too i just want to thank you so much for watching and if you are learning anything at all please like subscribe i appreciate it so much thank you all right let's get to number four number four video editing pretty much any youtube with a half a decent following will hire someone to edit their videos for them i got 38 subs but you know bigger followings than that this is a fun skill to develop and it's only going to get more and more lucrative in the future and you can learn things like videography lighting audio etc all while having fun Last but not least, number five, start a YouTube channel. This one a lot of people think is super easy, but you have to understand this. Developing content creation skills and storytelling skills can be very difficult. I know I am still working on it, and a lot of people I know are still working on it after years of making videos. But if you stick to it and work your ass off, this could just change the course of your life. Brands will pay you very handsomely to put their stuff in your videos. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Alright, peace.